Hello and welcome to the 101st Mortgage Bankers Association Annual Convention in beautiful Las Vegas. And I'm beautiful Phil Hall, and with me is beautiful Brian Coaster. Uh, Thank you, Phil. How are you? Okay, Brian is, of course, with uh, Coaster VMS. And Brian, what's new, different, and exciting with your company? Well, we just came out with a new release. Uh, one of our integrations that we have is now with the Mercury Alamode MVP network, which is a... Uh, it's a good company, a lot of lenders are on it, and it's going to help lenders you know, manage appraisals and manage the compliance aspect of ordering appraisals. Um, it's been good, it's been good. So we have a good release and uh, got a lot of stuff coming in, in 2014 and 15 as well. Well, speaking of 2015, where do you see the industry heading in the new year? So I think uh, 2000, you know, if you look at the, the, the past couple of years, 2013 was about all these new regulations coming out. 2014 is going to be about enforcement, which it really, really has been with a lot of CFPB fines and some bank regulations that have, that have really hit home. Uh, and then 2015 is going to be probably the year of automation. That's where, you know, the cost of compliance needs to come down, profitability needs to get back up, margins where they need, get, need to get back where they were. Uh, and a lot of that's going to come through automation integrations. I think uh, 2015 is where mortgage technology gets very, very serious. Why is it taking so long for the industry to be serious about uh, automating, especially uh, integrating its automation? Well, one of the things is, is people you know, have, from, from other industries uh, have a hard time understanding how complex the mortgage industry is. So when you look at a nor like let's say a similar, you know, similar size industry like the car industry, you're dealing with a very enclosed environment. There's only you know, 100 or so factors that go into a car. Uh, and so they can automate a lot of the functionality. Well, in the mortgage industry, you're really dealing with tens of thousands of factors. So you have, you know, at the, at the, at the highest level, the uh, loan application, all that stuff. And then at the lowest level, you know, the actual city and town to close that loan and all the regulations associated with that. And then the secondary market. And so it's very complicated. Typically, the mortgage industry is about 10 years behind current technology, where things like XML that we're just getting, things like MISMO and third-party services that we're just getting, people are just talking about, those are really like 1995 technology. Uh, and the, one of the reasons is because it's so complicated that you're dealing with a database of 20,000 fields. Whereas, you know, in let's say something as simple as Facebook might be dealing with a database of let's say 50 fields. So integrating 50 fields versus 20,000 is significant. Um, the mortgage industry has done a lot of great things to help. And you, what you're starting to see is that, okay, we have it all digital. We have it all in XML. We have it, so, so then that opens up the whole thing of APIs and integrations and web services that before, you know, it was almost a foreign language just five or six years ago. I heard somebody say that uh, one of the problems that, uh, why the industry's been so slow to adapt to new technology and to integrate existing technology is uh, being risk averse. Yeah, and I think that's, that's somewhat of a, of a, a generational gap. Uh, you know, a lot of times people think, um, you know, if you have the paper, if you have, if you're able to look at the files, um, it's less risky than if you automate it. Um, that's true initially. Initially, automation is, is speeding up. You know, if you're going in the wrong direction, automating will speed that up. Uh, and then what happens is, is once you're able to, to, to put the controls in place, it becomes where you have a much safer environment. A great example is, is the automation of appraisals. Initially, you know, you have this situation where, you know, manually reviewing every single appraisal. And then it goes into, well, we'll have like a little checklist that will automatically go through. And initially it's dangerous because it gets passed and then there's something wrong. But then what happens is you start managing those exceptions and over a period of just a couple months, you were able to get a really good system that's able to account for all the variables that would manually review and get a pre-finished product. And a lot of the risk aversion is coming from just not understanding the full scope of the technology, uh, which is new, which every industry has gone through that. So every, you know, from the printing industry to the, to the you know, car industry, to the manufacturing, every industry goes through that kind of push-pull. Uh, and I think the mortgage industry is now finally coming and saying, okay, you know, we've got to go tech. We got to get our margins back. We, we you know, we we got to start making some money again. And you know, rates are low. Everything's going online. Uh, borrowers are shopping a lot more before they were able to. And, and we've got to automate this. 
I just want to change uh, topics for a quick second. Prior to uh, going on camera, you had said that uh, you've been hearing a lot of good news from the builders that you work with about uh, what they're looking for at the industry in 2015. Yeah, bu builders are doing well. Um, and you, you should see that continue to 2015. Um, you know, two, 2012, 11, even to a certain extent, 10, they were, a lot of the, the bigger builders were buying land. Uh, they, were, they were buying massive tracts of land, they were holding it, and now they're starting to develop it. And we're, our builder clients are bigger than, are busier than they probably have been in four or five years of us working with them. And it's good business, some of it's spec, some of it's custom, but it's good business. It's, uh, you know, that, that mid-tier, not the super high end, not the super low, but that mid-tier, a lot of it is uh, what they call like uh, urban areas where there's an urban, you know, where it's planned city developments, where they have urban mixed use, commercial, they're doing a lot of those. Um, and, it, and it looks like it's going to be a good year. You know, nationally, the, the housing bubble, the housing market um, has not recovered nationally. But if you look at it in pockets, it's showing really healthy signs to where in you know, in another two years, you'll start seeing some very, very healthy markets again. Um, and you're already starting to see that, but you'd see it to the point of a recovery. Well, I hope to see you again uh, when we're the next uh, show, which is going to be down in your area, Washington, D.C. Absolutely. We'll be excited to go. Excellent. Phil Hall, Mortgage News Network with Brian Coaster of Coaster VMS. This is Mortgage News Network.